Yes. Hello student. In this video, we are going to cover the remaining part of the examples of important polymers. In that, we have covered the examples by forming the addition polymerization. In that, first we have seen the formation of polyethylene, its properties and application. Then we have seen the formation of polyvinyl chloride properties and its application. Then polyvinyl chloride. We have seen the polyvinyl chloride and today we are going to start that is the thermo uh, setting which is formed by the condensation polymerization. Two examples in that one is uh, bakelite and another is the epoxy resin. Okay, so we are going to cover the two in this video. First, we are going to see the synthesis of phenol formaldehyde or bakelite. Okay, how it is prepared? It is prepared by the polymerization of phenol and formaldehyde. Two monomers are here. One is phenol. This is phenol and this is the formaldehyde. Now tell me which type of polymer it is formed when two different monomers are present. That time it is going to form the copolymer. It is the copolymer. Okay. So here in phenol formaldehyde or it is also called the bakelite. Copolymer is formed. Two monomers are present. One is phenol and another is the formaldehyde in presence of acidic or alkaline catalyst. Okay, so this is the structure of phenol and this is the formaldehyde. This is in presence of acid or in alkaline. It is going to form the phenol formaldehyde resin. Okay, uh, here I would like to show you in detail. See how we are, it undergoes the polymerization. This is the benzene ring. Okay. Uh, and here when it is connected to the OH, then it becomes the phenol. At every corner here, hydrogen is present. Okay, here hydrogen is present. This is the structure of phenol. Okay, one monomer is phenol and another is the formaldehyde. So, this is the structure of formaldehyde. This is C double bond O and here is the H. Hmm? Again, one more uh, formal, uh, what is it, phenol. I am going to draw one more phenol here. At the top, OH is here. And at every corner, hydrogen is present. Okay. So, when it undergoes the polymerization, something is eliminated. Here, water molecule is eliminated. That H from this phenol and H from this side and O from that formaldehyde. Oxygen from that formaldehyde and two hydrogen from the phenol. Here, water molecule is eliminated and then the structure it will become like this that CH2 group hmm? this is CH2 it is sandwiched between these two phenolic ring here is the OH and here also okay as one hydrogen is removed so it is going to attach here hmm? and benzene ring you have to show it here okay here when you are going to take the N number N number of that phenol and formaldehyde, it undergoes the polymerization. Then you have after completion of polymerization at the bottom of that square bracket, you have to write it here. Okay, that N. Okay, this CH2, it is sandwiched between these two phenolic ring and this is your bakelite. Okay, this is your bakelite. See here, here there is a cross link structure is formed. It is not the linear chain structure. Here it is a cross link structure is formed. Okay, that's why that bakelite it is a strong, rigid, huh? Because it is having the cross link structure and how which poly, uh, which polymer it is? It is a copolymer. Okay, so this is about the bakelite. Now we are going to see the properties of that phenol formaldehyde or bakelite. See, it is a hard, rigid non-flexible and brittle hmm? hard you are knowing hard rigid i would like to give you the example of this switch box switches hmm? switches it is prepared from that thermal layer or bakelite it is hard rigid non-flexible whether it is a flexible no it is not flexible and brittle but if it is fallen from the certain height it will become it will break okay as it is the brittle it is resistant to heat scratches and destructive solvent it is resistant to heat means though you are going to heat it it, is, it will not become this soft now it is a scratch resistant now it easily not scratched by anything okay and destructive solvent it is resistant to electricity 
it is resistant to electricity and it can withstand at the high temperature at high temperature also it remain as it is your pressure cooker handles okay hot object iron iron handles all that it is prepared from that bakelite or formaldehyde now we will see here it is used for making radio telephone casing plug switchboard here it is a switchboard hmm? radio cabinets radio cabinets or telephone cabinet it is also prepared from the cabinets means that uh, outer body bahar chi body aste ti kasha pasun bakelite pasun banleli aste प्लग्स असतील हा प्लग माहिती आहेत आपले प्लग असतील स्विचेस असतील हे सगळे कशापासून बनलेले असतात बेकेलाइट पासून इट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग शीट्स रॉड्स अँड ट्यूब्स जे काही तुमचे शीट्स असतात त्या शीट्स रॉड्स ट्यूब्स बनवण्यासाठी देखील बेकेलाइट वापरले असतात इट इज यूज एज अडेसिव्ह अडेसिव्ह म्हणून पण हे वापरलेलं असतं अडेसिव्ह म्हणजे स्टिकी सबस्टन्स म्हणून वापरलेलं असतं फॉर इम्प्रेग्नेटिंग फायब्रे फायब्रिक्स वूड अँड पेपर हा दिसतं हे वूड याच्यावर जे आहे काय म्हणतात लॅमिनेट बेकेलाइटचा स्टिक म्हणून अडेसिव्ह म्हणून हा देखील वापरलेला असतो याच्यावर फॉर मेकिंग बेरिंग युज इन प्रोपेलर शाफ्ट फॉर पेपर इंडस्ट्री अँड रोलिंग मिल्स हे दिसत बेरिंग्स म्हणून वापरलेलं आहे दिस इज प्रिपेअर्ड फ्रॉम दॅट बेकेलाइट हा बेकेलाइट पासून बनवलेला आहे दिस इज दी युज ऍज अ बेरिंग इन पेपर इंडस्ट्री और रोलिंग मिल इंडस्ट्री ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज दी इपॉक्सी रेझिन this is also the another type of polymer which is prepared from the condensation polymerization here also two different or to say two different monomers are present one is bisphenol see the structure of bisphenol here two phenol bis means two one here is one ring is here other is here bisphenol this is ch3 carbon here ch3 ch3 and to this both the side phenol ring is attached this is the structure of bisphenol a and this is epichlorohydrin see here structure it's ch2 ch and between this oxygen is there okay ring is form here epichlorohydrin here there is a chlorine is there okay in presence of alkaline catalyst this is the alkaline catalyst nawh it is the alkaline catalyst so what is happening here here what what will happen you have to take the n number of that bisphenol and epichlorohydrin what will happen this hydrogen from that hydroxyl group and chlorine it is removed as a hcl here it is removed as a hcl okay so what will happen now we have to write it continuously see here your ring is here o same from here also chlorine is removed and then you have to join this ring okay so it will uh, like this o here it will become ch2 this ring will open hmm? so ch2 ch oh ch2 again another phenolic ring is there so this is o and next ring is there so continue chain is formed and which by product is removed here here hydrochloric acid is removed what it what is hcl hydrochloric acid is removed here okay so in bakelite water is removed as a by product whereas in epoxy resin hydrochloric acid hcl it is removed as a by product okay now see here ch2 ch oh ch2 o continue again this bisphenol ring epichlorohydrin punna ethyl bisphenol epichlorohydrin so long chain is formed hmm? here also two different monomers so it is a copolymer copolymer is formed it is having the cross link structure and it is formed by the condensation polymerization next we are going to see the properties of that epoxy resin okay properties it is highly resistant to water acids bases and solvent okay it is not uh, what to say attack by it is not going to absorb the water acid it is resistant to the action of water acid hmm, means you are going to throw the acids on it it remain as it is okay next it has excellent adhesion property adhesion means it can hold the two materials together strongly hmm? sticky substance mon act with adhesion hmm? it is uh, having excellent adhesion property epoxy resin is a thermosetting resin characterized okay it is a thermosetting and uh, characterized by toughness adhesion and corrosion resistance next application it is used for metal coating used in electrical and electronic component led high tension electric insulators okay 
this is the bushing here you can see that epoxy resins is used for this coating okay next is a adhesive industrial flooring flooring uh, sati it is used as a good adhesion in aircraft industry also epoxy resin under the trade name araldite araldite it is used as a adhesive uh, what is a very good adhesive substance hmm, which is used in aircraft industry under the trade name araldite that is actually epoxy resin okay so the trade name for that is araldite which is used in aircraft industry hmm. the molds made from epoxy resin are used for the production of components for aircraft and automobiles small small components you can see that small components also it is prepared from the epoxy resin and it is used for surface coatings and gas storage vessels okay this is the gas storing vessel and the surface coating inside coating it is done by the epoxy resin okay why it is done because it is resistant to water acid bases and solvent that's why the coating of that gas storage vessel it is prepared from that epoxy resin so all this is about the our applications properties and synthesis of bakelite and epoxy resin thank you